XS has a brand new line of sights called F8 Night Sights. I was given an opportunity to evaluate them and do a review on them, and I said, yes, please. I would like them for a Glock 43. So I have them for the Glock 43, and it, of course, consists of a rear sight and a front sight. They also provide a little front sight tool and some red Loctite. Presumably, it's in a red tube, so I presume it is red Loctite. I am going to install them on this Glock 43 because this is my still my primary carry gun, and I still only have <laughs> the stock sights on it. So it is definitely time to upgrade these to something with tritium and a much quicker acquisition sight picture. So let's get busy doing that. Here is the new sight. See that little dot right at the bottom of the rear notch? That has tritium in it. But it's an otherwise blacked out rear, so I like that. I definitely like it. Okay, so from the that didn't quite go as planned department, here is the rear sight installed and I think fairly centered. I had to drive it on hard with a punch. It is a very, very tight fit. This would be something I would recommend that unless you have my sight, my sight pusher was of no use to me whatsoever. So. Um, even though I probably will eventually invest in a better sight tool, I don't even know if a good sight tool would have made much difference. This thing was tight. I mean, interference fit type tight. I didn't shave any material off, but it's on there now, and, I, and it's going to stay on there. <laughs> I'm not taking it off, ever. I'll sell the gun with it on there before I'll try and take it off. So let's go ahead and do the front. I'll take the front sight off using our fixer sight tool. And as soon as I can find it here, there we go. Now here's the new sight. Give you a look at that. That's a nice, very nice orange ring. I like that. That's a look that I like for a front sight anyway. My very first initial thoughts after just installing these sights is, boy, are they tall. They are definitely tall for a carry gun. I got this tiny little Glock, and the sights are just about as tall as the rest of the gun. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. The question is going to be, is the sight picture worth it? All right, let's put this thing together and uh, make it look like a pistol, and then take a look at it. Okay, so there they are installed. It was a bigger chore than I expected it to be. That rear sight was a difficult fit, to say the least. My sight pusher was no good to me. Not the, not the fault of the sight, um, but I had to drive it on with a punch in a vise, and it was still quite a bit of work. <laughs> I think I may have broken a sweat. Front sight went on easy, as you would expect. So there you go. There's the look at the sight picture. I do like the sight picture. I love those big orange dots out front. There's something about those that just 
track really well to my eyes. And you can see on the rear sight here, you've got this little dot in the bottom. The idea is to line it up. And I think that's where the F8 comes from. I think it's a sort of a figure eight sight picture that you're looking at. Put the one dot above the other dot in a figure eight type of pattern. The sights are, in my initial thought here, a little bit taller than they need to be for a gun this size. This is a carry gun, after all. Um, the back, now the good news part of that though, this back sight, boy, you can run, you can run this slide against your belt or your boot or the curb <laughs> or somebody's forehead or where, wherever you want. It will definitely run the slide, and yeah, I have tested it. It will definitely do it. Now, the other test, the thing I was a little anxious about when I saw how high they were, was, uh-oh, <laughs> is this going to fit in the sight channel of my favorite holsters? Because if not, I might not be happy. The good news is, all right, so here are my two holsters. They are both multi-holster, Kydex. Inside the waistband is this one, and... You can see with the sight channel it does fit. Let me go ahead and put it all the way in there, turn it around this way. So it still fits. However, if you have a Glock 43 or whatever, whatever gun, and you're looking to replace the sights, especially that front sight, make sure that it's going to be compatible with your holsters. Okay, here's my other multi holsters. This is my outside the waistband for the Glock 43 and same thing. It fits. Fits in the sight channel. So that was the important thing. Everything else is kind of immaterial. And of course, pocket holster. Not a problem. So I do like I do like that sight picture. And I do like the quality of these sights. Let me take this thing out and actually shoot it. See how I like shooting it with these sights. I'll let you know about that. And of course, after you've put new sights on your handgun, especially if it's your carry handgun, you want to make sure you test out those sights so that you know where your sight picture is, you know where your impacts are versus your sight picture because it may be a little higher or it may be a little lower or you may have uh, suddenly gained some windage somewhere. So you want to make sure you come out and at least test at a good defense distance like 7 to 10 yards. Make sure you know that your shots are going where you think they are. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do now with these F8 sights on my Glock 43. It's freezing out here. I'm going to take off my gloves. See if I can man up a little bit. and. Put a couple magazines through it, see how it's shooting. Also, it's a great way to just make sure that you're familiar with the new sight picture and you can decide whether or not you like it. And this is a pretty different sight picture. Okay, where am I? My low, my high? Can't tell. Also important when you're shooting your self-defense gun, every time you get that opportunity, you should try and shoot your self-defense rounds. In this case, I'm actually shooting jacketed hollow point, but it is Sig Sauer Elite Performance 124 grain jacketed hollow point. It is the exact same performance-wise as the carry 124 grain jacketed hollow points that I keep in this gun when I'm carrying it. All right, let me take a couple uh, like center shots here at this target, see if I can see where it's printing.
to go for the flapper. My high. All right, let's try and give you a look at this sight picture. There they are. XS F8 sights for the Glock 43. I love the orange dot up front. I love the blacked out rear. So they seem to be a little bit more center hold than Glock. Maybe, you know, just a tad six o'clock, but pretty close. Not a major difference. But it's a great sight picture, and I do love that big orange dot. Okay, I loaded my mags up again, and I put a piece of cardboard. put a cardboard target on my stand. That's the one thing I love about these tactical AR500 target systems. I love the way the stand is, so I can put a regular cardboard target right in front of my steel target whenever I want, like I just did. So, and I paced off my distance. I am 13 yards away, so... Let's see where she's printing. I'm going to use a six o'clock hold with the orange dot right under the orange dot. 